Let's soften these guys up a little. See if we can get it all the way in there. There we go. Good throw. Fifteen thousand XP. Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die on Alpha Nineteen Build One Eighty Experimental. This is uh, the last episode we're gonna do on Experimental before we switch. Uh, we start over and um, switch to Stable, which just released today. It is uh, August twentieth, and <clears throat> so I recorded. Uh, this is actually the third Seven Days episode. I'm recording today, and I'm going to release all of them at the same time, um, so that way you guys can watch them all uh, back to back if you want to, but also so that I can then, um, you know, wrap up this save and then get started with a new save as soon as possible. So, anyways, uh, as you can see, it is Horde 42, and we have about one in-game hour left before the Horde comes, and we're going to see if our little modifications that we made uh, to our base here will work and um, keep the horde in the killing corridor here. Um, let's go ahead and turn this on now just so I don't forget later. And this should have a full thing of gas, right? Uh, it needs a, just a tiny bit more, but you know what? It's, there's no way that's going to run out before the horde's night's done, so we're good. Okay, let's um, load up on everything here. So we essentially want just about everything that's in here. We don't need... Of uh, that, we want all the Molotovs, we want the bandages. I don't know if I'll end up using the AK at all. Um, and if we do, we've got, you know, some, uh, we got the armor piercing. So I think I'm going to leave this stuff in here for now. We can always still get it later if we have to. Um, you know what? No, on second thought, let's just load up. Because it's theoretically possible that this bin could get destroyed and... We want, we want to make sure we have that extra ammo in there. Um, okay, so let's organize our toolbar. We do not need any melee. Well, if they actually got this far, we could potentially use melee, but we're still probably going to use a shotgun anyway. Um, so what we'll do is we'll put our repair gun in slot number one, if I can find it. Where? Oh, it's right here. I was going to say. All right, and then we will keep uh, we'll keep the AK in slot two, the machine gun and the desert vulture in three and four. But we don't need. I don't think we're going to use the magnum. Oh, by the way, I took the silencer off and put the uh, the rad remover. I uh, put a rad remover on the desert vulture, um, and I, and I took it off of here uh, because I just didn't want to make another one <clears throat> at this point. So I don't think we'll we'll use the magnum tonight. Uh, not likely. Uh, but we'll keep it in our inventory just in case. So what I want to put here is I want to put grenades there. And I want to put molotovs here. We probably won't use our sniper rifle tonight. And let's put an extra stack of bandages in that slot. I think that's good. We have our we have our nerdy glasses on for uh, XP. I'm, you know, it doesn't matter after this is over, but I do want to see how much XP we actually can pull off tonight. Um, and I've got um, Atom Junkies, uh, which we'll actually use, um, you know, to, to improve our explosives. It lasts for five minutes, too, which isn't too bad. Uh, so we'll, we'll get those going. And then everything else is pretty much just here for, you know, for repairing. Uh, I, I repaired all of my weapons and my armor, so our armor is, is fully repaired. So we got that done. Let's make sure everything is loaded. We got 12 rounds in the uh, the Desert Vulture. And yeah, I think we're, we're ready to go. Our junk turret is fully loaded. One thing I noticed last um, during the last Horde Night is that <clears throat> the junk turret... Um, ac it, it actually was broken. I mean, it wasn't destroyed, but it was completely broken and it stopped functioning because I think a boss, you know, a couple of boss vultures probably, you know, puked on it. But, I mean, this cage does a really good job of keeping the vultures off of us anyways. If we didn't do anything at all, it's they could potentially maybe break through it, but, I mean, when I hear them up there, I stop and, and shoot them with the shotgun if, you know, if this thing's not functioning or isn't doing the job anyway. So, yeah, we should be good. 
All right, guys. <laughs> this is going to be crazy. Oh, man. Day 42. We are at uh, game stage 106. We went through this whole series with only one death, which was on day one, the first episode, until this last episode, and then I died twice <laughs> in the shotgun beside me. But you know what? We were just having fun. Um, I could have been more careful than I was, but we were just having fun. So it was all all to entertain you guys. That's that's what it was all about. Oh, one other thing. Um, one of you guys suggested that I should crouch when I throw the stuff in there, and I'll have a better job of clearing... Um, uh, the bar's there, so we'll we'll actually try that. All right, let's do this. Here we go. We're gonna start with the desert vulture because it can reach out and touch, and then you know if they if they get closer, uh, then we'll start probably switching to the shotgun. But I've got lots of armor piercing 44 rounds in here. does buck a little bit, but that's to be expected. I mean, it is a 44 after all. Alright, let's do this. Let's go ahead and pop this guy. Soften these guys up a little, if we can get it all the way in there. There we go, good throw. And let's blow them up. Oh, that didn't get go so well. There we go, that one got in there. 15,000 XP. All right, cleared that first group. So basically, the way this goes is, whoops, we shoot for a little while until they start to really group up, and then we blow them up. Off with their head. That was awesome. They don't appear to be trying to break through the side, at least not at this point, so I think we're doing okay there. All right, let's go ahead and... Looks like our junk turret took care of those buzzards. my imagination, but it seems like this bucks just a little bit less if I aim. It probably doesn't, but... Okay, we gotta get this right down the middle. There we go. Good throw. Ten thousand two hundred and thirty-two XP for that. I hear buzzards. Where are they? I think they ruined my first uh, set of... They've broken my first set of fence posts. Which is to be expected. That's not surprising at all. I hear a buzzer, but I don't know where it is. That's a pretty good group of them. Yeah, this um, crouching plan uh, is working really well. 
Go away, buzzard. Whoa. Five thousand XP for that one. Okay. Man, it's really sending the buzzards after me, isn't it? Go down, Ronald McDonald. Holy crap! Have they broken my uh, turret again? I think they have. Either that or it's out of ammo. Oh, that's a nice group. Okay, here we go. Soften them up for a second. There's so many buzzards. All right, they looks like they broke through the the first gate. 15,000 XP for that. Now, we should be able to reach this gate to repair it. Yep, we can. We can. All right. Let's let them group up a little bit more. Deal with this guy. Man, the buzzards. Fourteen thousand XP. All right, let's do a repair here. Oh wow, they haven't even hardly touched that thing. Our atomic junkie thingamadoodles wear off. It looks like it. Eight thousand XP. Okay, let's light him up again. Man, look at him coming down below. Woo -wee. Say goodnight, Gracies. 11,000 XP. <laughs> let's let him group up a little more. Still coming. All right, let's do a repair quickly. Oh yeah, that hatch is in really good shape. See, the fences are keeping them stun locked, so they're just not able to do a whole lot of damage. The first, the first um, hatch didn't even go down until the fences broke. You know. Oh, speaking of broke. Let's repair this. Man, these buzzards are all over the place. Is that all of them? Nope. 
Okay. Here we go. Fourteen thousand XP in their next level. Thought I heard another buzzard. I probably did. Let the fire soften them up a little bit. Let the grenades soften them up a lot of bit. 14,000 worth a lot of bit. Just popping those heads. Let's repair that. Oh man, yeah, that, that hatch is in great shape. Hardly scratched. That'll change once the fences break, though. That loot's just, like, totally in the way. Suck it, buzzard. It's like there's a buzzard stuck over there or something. Well, aside from wherever this other buzzard is, I think we've killed the horde, guys. Oh, there's a bunch of them. They got stuck in there. How interesting. They must have come from that direction. Huh. All right. Well, I think the verdict is that this base design is freaking awesome <laughs> in Alpha 19. It is so good, you guys. It's such a good base design. And this isn't my idea either, by the way. Um, I've told you, I've said this before, but in case you're watching me for the first time, or you didn't hear me say this before, I I got this idea from Reach Gaming. He's a YouTuber. Uh, when Alpha 19 first came out as experimental, he did some experiments on different base designs, and um, I saw him do that first. I don't know if he's the original idea guy behind it, but it works so well. And it's really not that hard of a base to build either. You know, it's it's fairly, fairly simple design here. Uh, all right, let's turn that off. And you know, you just the loot bags are just insane. You get so much loot from the zombies too. But yeah, look at this thing. It is it's in really good condition. I mean, you know, the fences kept them from being able to do any significant damage to the, you know, to the loot bag. Um, I'll tell you what, just for funsies, let's. Let's just go through and, and uh, you know, loot all this stuff. I'm going to have to make some room, though. So we'll eat this, and then we'll make a chest just to temporarily put some stuff in. But, yeah, there, there was no point whatsoever during that entire night where I was even close to being in danger. Not even close. Uh, let's put all that stuff in there. That was a hell of a lot of buzzards, though. Man, oh man, was that a lot of buzzards. And they, you know, either my junk turret ran out of ammo, or they damaged it, you know, with, um, with the spit. Could have gone either way, really. We already know that. Okay. 
I'm more I'm more just curious than anything to see what what's in the Oh shoot, we should we should be wearing these too. And how many levels did we get? I wasn't even paying Okay, so we got two levels. Yeah, we've been pretty much gotten, you know, two levels every horde night with this base. It's not anything anywhere near as good as my my pit design that we did. Oh, there's there you go. Um nowhere near as good as my pit design that we did in the wasteland series. I mean that the the I think I got like five levels in one horde night um with that base. I mean it is it was so good. I might even, you know, consider doing that again for uh, for stable alpha 19. We'll have to see. Um, but it was it was based upon explosives, um, and um, I would just you know so so I I leveled up a demolitions expert and I would just rake in the XP. It was the best base I've ever built, really, uh, at least in terms of XP. I like this base though too because it's just so simple. I mean, there's not that much to it. If we were to continue, you know, this playthrough. Um, I, the only thing I would do different is I would upgrade the whole thing to steel, uh, eventually. Ooh. Oh, we already know that, yeah. <laughs> I'd upgrade it to steel, or, you know, at least the, the more critical parts. Got a sniper rifle. And, but I don't know that we really need to, to change it any more than that, you know? It just works so well. If I had the, the right skills, you know, for the junk turrets, I'd set two of them up. Um, yeah, let's just, let's just... Let's just see what's in here. I don't actually really care about if I keep it or not. It just doesn't matter. Uh, we'll throw all that stuff out. Okay. And we'll eat those. Decent stuff. And what's in this one? Whoops. No, no, there you go. And some honey. Let's eat, let's eat some honey. Okay, I think that's it. So yeah, um, you know, th this would bring us some decent money once it was fixed up. But it just, you know, it doesn't matter, so. All right, guys, well. We had a good run here in Experimental. Uh, I've never actually... What is this? This is episode 47. <clears throat> I've never made that many episodes in an Experimental uh, before on any game. Seven Days of Day or anything else. Uh, so, it, it, you know, that and that's good it, from the standpoint that, you know, we had, we had a lot of fun and the game stayed interesting and fresh for us all the way through Experimental. We didn't have to restart, you know, with the the you know different builds that the fun pimps put out which is always a good thing and we know we never really had anything majorly broken either so we were fortunate you know from that standpoint too and you know if it wasn't already obvious i really really like the desert vulture so you know between the auto shotgun and the desert vulture oh my goodness these weapons are fantastic you guys absolutely fantastic um just love them and you know we never actually had a chance uh, to to mess with the um, the assault rifle. I'll tell you what, let's do this. Let's go into here, and let's go um, uh, CM for creative menu, and we'll go into the creative menu. And I just want to uh, assault. Wait, how the hell do you spell that? Let's go rifle. There we go. Oh, tactical assault rifle. Um, okay, so let's do this. Tack. Tear. Tear. I'm, I'm trying to see if I can get, like, a purple one. Tactic. Oh. <laughs> there we go. Well, yeah, we never had, we never found one of these. The traders never had them. I never found them, so we never had a chance to play with it. Oh, so this is a, this is a three-round burst weapon, uh, without any mods on it anyway. It's got quite the spread too, but that's probably because we don't have any skill on machine gunner, or we only have one point. 
It doesn't it doesn't kick too much though. What we could do is we could put a let's put a, a fully auto mod on it for a second. And then, then we're gonna wrap things up here. So uh where's where are those at? Full auto mod. Um We could maybe try a silencer just for the hell of it. We could try an extender mod and probably a foregrip. This this would help, I think, with the... Well, it might not. I don't know. Here, let's just see. Let's go ahead and mod this. And we want to put the full auto, that, that, and... How much does that change the damage? So it's currently 73. Oh, only two points down. That's nothing. Okay, now let's see what it does. Oh, I love it. Sounds good. Uh, it's you know, The sights do definitely spread, though. So what we could do is the tripod should improve that, I think. So if we go here, let's trade that out for the that. So how many rounds does this give us? It gives us 43. Yeah, I don't... You know what? I don't know that um, you would want to use a, a full auto mod on this weapon. It'd be okay, I guess, at, you know, mid to close range. But the spread's too much, you know, for, for anything f far out, even with the tripod on it. Cool gun, though. Um, I was going to do one other thing, and I can't remember what it was now. Oh. Um... Can you put a drum magazine on here? Yep, you can. Uh, so let's put the drum magazine on. And let's just grab some normal rounds. Whoop, didn't mean to do that. So now it holds 60. Yeah, you definitely wouldn't want to use this fully auto at at long a longer range. What's the, how does this compare? Yeah, it's about the same with the AK. But the AK is not really a good weapon to use at long range fully auto either. They're very comparable, I think. This has a faster fire rate. Quite a bit faster. Um if we took the uh, let's take this back off, and how would it do with, uh, that's a semi-trigger mod. I don't have, um, I don't have a single trigger mod, do I? Uh, Semi-burst mod, full auto. Oh no, semi is what I want. Yeah, semi is what I want. Okay. Okay, so let's put this on. It would, it'd make a decent, um, why am I in fly mode? Uh, I don't even remember the key. Oh, H key. Okay. Um, yeah, it, it, it would, it would, it would make a good mid range weapon, uh, with a semi trigger mod because, you know, then you you can control your spread a little bit more. But you know this this weapon's not designed to be a long range weapon anyways. I mean it's it's a mid to 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 close range weapon. Let's 
try something here. We're supposed to be in in this episode, but I'm having too much fun screwing around. <laughs> Let's put a little bit more of those in. Um, can I reach that hatch? So let's go, um, uh, debug menu, and we'll go into the spawn menu, and let's spawn 25 looking at us businessmen, feral businessmen. Come on, boys. Yeah, I just want to see how this does at close to mid-range. not bad I honestly I still I don't know I just like the feel of the desert vulture I, I just like the feel of the desert vulture <laughs> so this is between <clears throat> this and the auto shotgun guys those are my two favorite weapons after trying this out I mean this isn't bad It'll be nice when we finally get one. It's definitely, you can tell it's a little bit tighter than, you know, the AK. Um, what's the damage comparison? This is a 58 versus 77, but of course it's not an even comparison. Um, but, you know, so this, this is a little tighter and it has a faster fire rate than the AK, but I still think, you know, the Desert Vulture and the Auto Shotgun are, are just amazing weapons uh, in Alpha 19. They're definitely my top two favorite. I, I do like the sniper rifle, though, too. I really do, actually. Um, what? Where is our sniper rifle? Eh, whatever. Wherever, whatever we did with it. I mean, we ha have a yellow one somewhere, but this is just a shitty one. But, you know, this weapon is not bad either. It's actually quite good. I definitely like it um, over the Marksman rifle, too. So... Really cool. All right, guys. Well, that is it for this episode and it for this series. Um, so when you see me again, we will start a new insane difficulty, nightmare speed, all zombies run all the time series on Alpha 19 Stable. And I'm probably going to do pre-gen 2 or pre-gen 3 or maybe even just random world gen. Um because, you know, I don't want to play on pre-gen 1 again because we spent this whole season on pre-gen 1. Uh, this map is basically forest in the middle. Um, it's a pretty good size forest, though. You know, lot, lots of room. And then it's surrounded, you know, by the various other biomes uh, on the edge. So I don't know if pre-gen 2 or pre-gen 3 will be the same way. But my plan is at this point to go with pre-gen 2. But I might, like I said, I might do a random gen instead. I'll have to think about it. So anyway, look, listen to the sound of that. It just has a good sound to it. Guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode and hope you enjoyed this series. And uh, we're going to start back up very soon, probably in the next couple of days, with uh, with Stable, and we'll do it all again. Take care, and we'll catch you next time around. Bye-bye.